Proverbs 28, 13 says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. When you sin with God, don't think that you can just hide it and cover it up as if God doesn't see. You may be able to hide your sins from people. You can't, in many cases, you can. You could hide sins from your spouse, from your family, from your friends, from church members, from, from everyone else in the world. There are sins that you can commit, you know, sins in your mind, sins that, you know, whatever. There are sins you could do, and you may never get caught in, in front of other people, but God sees everything and knows everything they do. God knows your heart. So don't even try it with God. It'll never work out for you. It'll never work out for you. If you think you could get something past God, you've got another thing coming. Because just even, just even having that attitude alone of thinking that you could just get away with something is going to end up making God angry. And you're going to get the punishing anyways. You might as well just confess it now. Confess it early and forsake and be done with it. And it's, and there's, it's a twofold thing. As, I, as we read in Proverbs 28, 13, I read it for you. We're still in Psalm 51. Stay there. I'll read Proverbs 28, 13 again. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. It's one thing to admit that you've done wrong. It's another thing to forsake it and not do it anymore. Yeah. A lot of times people who go through different addictions can know they're doing wrong. And they could keep confessing, yeah, it's wrong, yeah, I shouldn't do it, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore, yeah. But until they actually forsake it, they're not really right with God yet. I mean, confession is that, is that first step, but you need to confess and forsake. Because yeah. otherwise you're just going to keep on doing what's wrong. I'm not saying it's always easy to do, but that's what you need to do. That's what God is, is telling you you need to do. And then, it says, them shall have mercy. Whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. That's you want God's mercy. Don't just say that what you're doing is wrong. Forsake it and stop doing it. And admit that it was wrong. Do both. And don't just stop doing it. I mean, yeah, stop doing it, but, but admit to God, to God, what I did was wrong. 